want to watch a scary movie? Every day. <laughs> Every day. I love, love horror movies. Uh, as you can see, this is not the ghost face outfit. This is Dar Darth Joe. We lost, we lost that costume because it's been so long. <laughs> uh, this is Scream 6, y'all. And uh, so surprisingly, when we reviewed Scream 5, uh, back whenever it came out, um, I wasn't enthusiastic for it, right? I said, slashers really aren't my thing. Um, and I think we got pushback from the fans that really enjoyed it. And we all didn't... I think we said it was an average film. We ended up giving it a five. Uh, so when I heard a lot of positive uh, buzz around Scream 6, I was kind of interested. Uh, we had just gone to 67. Uh, we chose that over the <laughs> before the weekend, then this. And it turns out we should have watched this. Um, so I'm glad that I, I got to see it because I was surprisingly entertained. Uh, this one kind of made, I felt like... Uh, I got my money's worth out of this one. So this, if you make it as entertaining as this, yes, there are dumb moments. Yes, there's things that don't make sense. And I can't wait to talk about them in the spoilers, but no spoilers up front. Um, I think that this film does enough to justify its existence. Usually when you get to the sixth <laughs> film like this, you're in some pretty shit territory in, in a lot of franchises. But honestly, I think this film is at its strongest. Uh, a lot of good performances here. Um, uh, let's see. Jenna Ortega and uh, her other sister. I forget what her Sam's. name is. Sam, Sam uh, the actress. Uh, Melissa Barrera. These two uh, do a pretty damn good job of holding up this film without much of the legacy cast. Obviously, Dewey died in the last film, uh, and we do see Courtney, Courtney Cox's yeah. character, yeah. but um, Sydney does not come back for this one. There was a pay dispute, and I guess... Uh, yeah, know, she says she went with her family and took off. Yeah, they kind of... They didn't want none of this. <laughs> she, she earned her way, you know, so mm -hmm. she's not in this one. Uh, but surprisingly, uh, the film doesn't miss a beat without her. I think uh, it was entertaining. Uh, as far as slasher films go, you know, you, you, you get, you're, you're guessing who it is. Um, it's got plenty of payoff. This is a ghost face that is brutal as fucking hell. Mm -hmm. uh, seems the, the kills are uh, some, somewhat satisfying and, and, and gruesome uh, and really feel like they have impact. And, of course, the, the whole thing is ghost face goes to New York, which, you know, we've seen a lot of other horror Yeah, I was just looking it up right now. Uh, Jason went Jason, on his eighth film. So this eighth, one does it on six. The six <laughs> this, but there's been other people that would go to New oh, York sure. as well. So Ghostface finally goes to New York. Leprechaun. <laughs> Leprechaun to New York in the Bronx. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, it's a really good outing. So I think uh, uh, creative uh, kills, uh, keeping it guessing. Though I did predict rather early uh, who it is just because I'm following the film's rules. And so as long as you follow the film's rules, which has always been... The famous one is "Don't say I'll be right back." That they don't do that one, uh, but you know it's tied to uh, characters' history, and you know obviously it's, it's kind of now. fair. Yeah, so it's a franchise. Yeah, franchise. So uh, I think very entertaining, and honestly, I would you suggest that you watch Screen. Now, whether you watch it in theaters or wait till later, uh, since you know we're reviewing this late, that's up to you, but I think it is worth your money. What did you guys think? No, I thought this was a good horror film. It checked all the boxes. Uh, uh, it was great, great kill scenes. Uh, kept me guessing who it was from time to time. Yeah. Uh, and this, I think, is actually uh, passing the torch done right. Yeah. Because I like these new characters. Oh shit! I don't you're mind. right. It yeah, is a like, pass. I, I wouldn't the mind seeing kind of another thing. one or something mm -hmm. like that if they want to continue. And it was done great. So and then, I mean, it's just funny because the pass of the torch was actually the last film, right? Because you have these yeah, two yeah. characters that are carrying over, um, and, and that was done average. Yeah, this I think one this one was better. They was better. Like she even talked about it. Like we're in a franchise. We gotta. Bigger yeah. budget, uh, more kills, kills decapitation, uh, like all this crazy the stuff. The opposite of what you might think it is. Mm -hmm. um, and I will say, without spoilers, uh, the film does something interesting right at the beginning. Kind of letting you know that this is going to be different. It's going to yeah. be, you know, at least entertaining. Trying to fake you out kind of at the beginning or get you interested rather. I'm not really sure, you know, just kind of, you know. Yeah, and I was entertained. So yeah, and I was, was entertained the whole way through. Yeah. So. 
that's what you want from a slasher. And unlike the last film, I, I was entertained the whole way through, and I liked it. Yeah, and the one. thing I was telling you, too, like, I'm not a big Ghostface fan, but... Right. Only in Wu-Tang Clan. Yes, that's the only one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so me neither. But this one, I actually kind of started to appreciate the lore, exactly. you know, because it's kind of on, on display here. Um, I always thought, I always kind of roll my eyes when the Scream franchise did it, and they did it very early. In Scream 2, they were doing all the stabs and then writing the book and then meta of meta of meta. And the last one I thought was kind of annoying because it was like the fans. The fans are the menace now, the fandom menace, and <laughs> we need to revitalize the franchise. And I thought that was kind of dumb. So, uh, you know, it's kind of... Uh, all the screams this after the first one are dumb. Dumb. Though. Like, yeah, you're yeah. right. There, there, there's still d stupidity and dumb here, and plot holes a mile long. This, this, this film is the best gun ownership ad I have ever seen. <laughs> it's, it's what the screams are. It's like, girls, girls. You know, he if you are, if you're stalked and you're traumatized, and you know people are targeting you for your past, and it has happened before, and you have had break-ins, and you have had close calls, if you have actually been stabbed before, maybe it's time so to be ready to protect yourself. And it's just a, it gets a little annoying because I do think these characters, based upon what they've gone through, would have more weapons available yeah. and and more backup plans available, but it does fall. Now, that's not to say it's perfect. Uh, let me also, you know, say in the third act, when we start to get the reveals, it does fall prey to its tropes um, and to some of the kind of eye-rolling moments go, wait a minute, you, are you cheating here? And when you think about it, you'll we'll get to the, a lot of that stuff in the spoilers, but I think it... Oh, so as long as the film is entertaining, that's stuff like that is easier to excuse. Yes. You know, the nitpick stuff and the, the, the inconsistencies. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's fine. So, yeah. Did you go? Does anybody want to go? Uh, I, I think that this franchise probably should have died a long time ago. Uh, yeah. It's not very good. It hasn't <laughs> been very good. The last one wasn't actually very good. Uh, and this one yeah. was better. And this, I want to give it credit. It actually, I was... Thoroughly, I wasn't just happy. Like I was really, uh, really enjoying this movie. Yeah. 70, 75 percent into it, yeah. and then the last act is just not good. It is not good wow. filmmaking. It is you. You can't Darn think. It. The more you think about it, the worse yes. everything gets. It's a horror movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's but this no. Is, you can stick a landing. You can stick sometimes. a landing in a horror movie, and like this one tries to be smart about things, and it is. It is very smart and competent. For the first, Up until first, the uh, you know, three quarters of the movie, and then all of that goes out the window at the end, yeah. and then I'm just sitting there going, "All right, well, it's just we. This sucks." Like we we worked up to yeah, something yeah. good. You show me how competent it is. You yeah, show yeah. me that everything's <laughs> great, and then you just you. I don't, think, I don't think it sucks, but I totally agree with you. I, I, I think totally I think agree. it fucking sucks. Okay. The ending of this movie <laughs> fucking sucks, <laughs> uh, and it's just it's just not good stuff. It's not yeah. something. But I I enjoyed this more than I enjoyed the last one. Yeah. If you're a fan of slashers, I think you're gonna like this movie. This is the best scream that we've gotten in a long time. So I think people will be happy. Okay. Um, all righty. So let's uh, let's go to final verdicts. Make this a short little review. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the seven. Um, mm -hmm. Besides some of the stupidity things we'll talk about. So in Joe gave the last one a five, five. so up a whole two points. Yeah, uh, better. I, I like the acting with uh, Jenna and Samantha. Yep. yep. And uh, Mindy, I like the Kinda way guessing. she's like. You got she's some like, boyfriend all right. Characters. Group you got huddle. Some, yeah, I like you the, got group the core huddle. four. Yeah. Joe, the core four <laughs> plus they had new characters, and it was solid. It was solid, and I like. I just love the way she tried to anticipate everything and mm -hmm. kind of messed up shit and. I thought it was funny. It's my small pathetic knife. This is it was either that one or the, the, or the rubber one that was super. Oh, what happened to those ones that, you know, the retractable retract. one? I, I can't find them. <laughs> Get them on Amazon. No. Mm. So, seven for me. Okay. Uh, I think this is a, an, a, an above average movie. I, I was thinking, you know, if we if I was just judging it on the first three quarters, like we're talking about eight or nine, like I was really enjoying yeah. this. And then I think the ending just kind of made me realize like everything else is kind of silly and they don't want to stick. I thought that this was, we were going to get serious with this franchise and we were going to do really cool things and then they were going to try to t not scream up their whole fucking movie and then they did at the end and it really kind of you know brought it down for brought, brought it down quite a bit so i still think it's above average i think we give it a six out of ten i think it's worth seeing but man one of these times they're gonna realize that we don't have to ruin our own movie and i think that's the one i'm gonna love 
I agree with Alex, but I think some of the themes and the way the acting is executed be between the, the two main girl characters mm -hmm. um, having to deal with their past, you know, their father being one of the original killers, having this hard edge to them, following up with, you know, social media. Everybody thinks that, oh, it's uh, she did it, it's Sam. He and they play, they play like, with that. Innocent, and, yeah. and that's like, that's totally real, real life. So, and I think I like a lot of the themes. There are individual moments that will piss you off like Alex, and, and you'll point them out and say, you didn't need to write it like that. Everything else is written so well. Like you said, up to the, like that 60 70%, I was at a motherfucking nine, yeah. you know? I was, really like And it. then you take that hit at the end. So I think I did enjoy it, m maybe a little better, so I'm going to go seven out of ten on the final verdict. Um, but I think you can even hit an eight. So I actually think you should go out and see uh, Scream 6 uh, before our spoilers. If you haven't seen it, whether you, you know, get it on VOD or, or get it in the theaters, I think it's worth your money. So um, that's it for this one. Now mm -hmm. let's go discuss, discuss all the spoilers and all the stupid moments that kind of d happen at the end and bring it down a little bit and all the fucking cheating. Okay, don't cheat. Okay, you don't have to cheat. You didn't have to cheat. There are some cheats here, and we'll talk about them. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Hey, guys. Welcome to the spoiler section. So um, we have... Our core four, which is the brother-sister group. You know, the sister is Chad, the one that Mindy, knows yeah. uh, Mindy and Chad, right? So, so yeah. she knows all the tropes and everything. And she's like, oh, fuck, I got it wrong last time. I'll get it right this time. She fucks up again. She, she does just not get it right this time. Oh, I got it she wrong. Should, oh, fuck. In the goddamn review, I wanted to make this point. I always forget to make one point in the review. Well, welcome to the spoiler section. I feel like uh, they were too afraid to kill uh, legacy characters, but maybe that's a little too spoilery, right? Yeah. Because they were very afraid to kill some of the main characters. People get stabbed here with shots that they should be dead no, and they yeah. don't die, and that pisses me off. Um, but, okay, so you got the core four, uh, the two sisters, and then the brother and sister. I uh, I don't know. I guess my memory serves really bad. I know the girl lives, but I don't remember the guy living. Yeah, he remember, does. he kind of gets you know stabbed in the backyard yeah, or something like that. Okay, so he does. Mm -hmm. um, I, just can't, I just can't pick it out. And then we have a new character, a geeky guy who is a virgin and is studious. And I don't know. I'm just here. And then you have uh, Mindy's girlfriend, and she's, you know, they're a couple, and she's quirky. And then you have the promiscuous uh, redhead, or I don't know if she's Sex pot. Sex pot, just having a bunch of boys and fucking all the time in college. They're in college now. They moved to the Big Apple. So those are the three new characters in there more. Uh, mm, no. no. So, um, but we'll first talk about the opening. So what is this one that I was talking about that it does something different right at the beginning? So we see the opening scene. It's a girl waiting on her date. I guess she has like Tinder or something like that. Yeah. She gets calls. Like, oh, the guy's like, oh, I'm lost. Uh, What's the outside of the building? This, is this girl. Next, yeah. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Elrond's daughter, yeah, daughter with no better. Elrond's daughter is so hot. Yeah. Yes. She's so hot. <laughs> yes. And it made me a little fucking annoyed that she was like so nervous over this guy. I'm like, this guy's a chump, man. We can get with the And she had accent. I was like, come on. Oh, damn, man. She looks so hot. But she kept acting like, oh, man, she's so nervous. Yeah. Like the whole time. It's like, oh, okay, I get it. You're, you're going a little too much it here was. with it. It's a girl like, like that yeah. would have a little more confidence because of Especially probably the attention. With gets. her uh, background with horror. Yeah, yeah. for sure. It's like, yo, yeah, come, she come to movies. the back of the fucking alley. Right. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to uh, go to the alley. <laughs> so she gets a phone call and from this uh, Tinder date, and he's, oh, I don't know where I'm at, and it doesn't sound like Ghostface. And mm -hmm. So then, you know, he lures her into a back alley, turns into the Ghostface uh, noise, and says, you stupid bitch. Yeah, you should have known better. Yep. So he starts stabbing her, and she dies. And then... The coast face just put takes his mask off. You're like, whoa, what the hell? Is the movie gonna keep us guessing this whole time? Is there more than one ghost face? And if we know what one ghost face is, and we have to find the other ghost face. Well, this guy, it, the camera stays on him, and he's going home, and he's talking with friends, and he's talking with his boyfriend, I think it was, or maybe roommate. I don't roommate. know. Roommate. Yeah. And uh, and so he's in there, and 
And then he gets a phone call. So I was like, aha, aha. And it's Ghostface using the voice. No, he thought it was Greg. Right. Pretending it's, yeah, his partner who was mm -hmm. going to, they were planning to kill Sam and. um, I keep forgetting. Jenna. 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 I forgot her name. What's her name? God dang it. We'll continue. I'll look it up. Okay, so yeah, so but but it ends up he's getting killed. Is they Tara. play a game of hot and cold, Tara? Tara. He getting playing a game of hot and cold, and then you know he gets stabbed, and you know, and and mostly these these killers have cared about kind of movies and rules, and then right at the end he's like, "Fuck movies," or what does he say? Like, ah, who movies? Who gives a shit about a stupid movie or something? Right? Yeah. Okay, so. A nice little opening, nice little twist, kind of keeping you guessing. Mm-hmm. Well, who are who then? Who turns out then to be the killer? Killer. It was the cop and his two two children. Yeah, the, the nerdy the, guy and the promiscuous. The long one. lost family of the killer from the last movie, Richie. which is what we did in part two. Is it? Yeah. yeah, Scream Two was the mother of Billy Loomis. But that makes sense because if. The Scream 5 is actually called Scream, then Scream 6 is actually called Scream 2, and she actually self-referentiates that by saying it's a a, a pre-make or a re, re... No, a sequel make, or what's the fucking term? Damn it, I forgot the she term. She called, I don't know. Something she said. remake. And so it's the second one, so they do it again. Okay, yeah. cool. Got it. <laughs> um, so it basically, it is who you think it is, most likely. Yeah. I pegged the cop right away because he was he, acting he a little weird. He said too much creepy shit early on. Like, the, the everyone's, the, they, they, even other characters are like, my dad's a little crazy. Once my brother died, he went nuts. And that's and when it's like, confirmed me. So the, the, the promiscuous fucking uh, roommate mentions that her brother died and my dad snapped. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Why did you just put why, this why, information why out there? Yeah. Because that, that means I'm like, that's suspect. Um, and they, they try to do several fake outs so that you don't think it's them. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, everybody thinks it's the nerdy kid, uh, cause he's, you know, conveniently gone during the hour. So the but girl, then, the girl was right the whole time. So she's like, you're the killer, you're ghost face. So she was right. And not she, wrong. Yeah. And so, so she also, she also just kind of, when she's nailing everyone, she's like, look, slutty redhead. You're, you're I, I, I suspect you, and she, yeah, so yeah, yeah, so she actually does, does get it she wrong. Got some of, she does she got get some stabbed, like, well, she got some of them wrong, so you deserve to get stabbed. Okay, yeah. get it wrong, get stabbed. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, because the cop guy, he's a little weird, and then he always seems to be at the crime scenes, and I'm like, cops can cover up crimes because I already, you know, thinking about cops and you know, crooked Dirty cops. cops that, already. Ang- that angle, it's like, how are they going to do something interesting this time? It's not just going to be like a teenager that's doing all this. They need something interesting to make it you know, hook, intrigue, yeah. and so I was thinking the cop right away. Now they try to fool you because an FBI agent comes in. Um, and she, uh, you know, is a survivor. Kirby, Kirby who survived Scream. the last film, is now an FBI agent, which she wasn't before. She was and in Scream 3? I think 3 or 4. 3 or 4. She was in the Scream from forever ago. Oh, she wasn't in the yeah. last one? No, okay, cool. No. Well, uh, anyway, so, the, yeah. So then she shows up to help, and then the film tries to throw you a, 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 a wild hook so that you forget about that you know, uh, it's maybe the guy cop because he likes go check out this this girl Kirby and get get her information. So they try to do that. Um, now, so we have our killers, um, and they are obviously the family of Dewey from the boys, uh, and they want revenge. Now it gets a little ridiculous towards the end. A, a little, little ridiculous. It is fucking a stupid. Lot ridiculous. They, they, they're sitting there with their knives out, and they've got the main character's corner, and they're practically jerking themselves off, just going like, I'm not going to kill you. I'm just going to make this scene last for 20 fucking minutes, and it's awful. Now, I, I excuse that demented behavior because they're demented a and they bit. want to they want to enjoy it. What I think is ridiculous is number 1, they have every single ghost face mask and costume. They have knives, they have like everything, everything that's been in every film 
It didn't get lost. It didn't get burned up. It didn't get, you know, but I guess it's all in police evidence. How did you get this? Well, you can excuse it because one of the things is a police officer. But here's the problem is it costs a lot of money. They have a fucking flat in New York. They have a whole building in New York and a fucking dilapidated theater or, uh, you know. It's a working theater. <laughs> it's a working theater. And it's like they have to be rich as fuck. I'm like, what, on a cop's salary? Are you serious? Yeah, I, I was. Was there a line in there that I, I may have sure. missed? I thought that they one of them said, is a trust fund. I think the two guys that get murdered first after after uh, Elrond's daughter. Yeah, uh, that they are trust fund kids or something. And then this they, was Alex's theory. Yeah, yeah, but also like I think. But I the thought their collection said, was separate from from the cops' collection because yeah, because the cops said, well, yeah, I actually uh, switched some names around hoping uh, Kirby would find it, but Gail actually found it. Right, so and, and he, he even shows some YouTube videos of, of, of Dewey, and this must have been when he was like making videos before he got yeah. famous, because it actually is him in a younger younger form. They're um, all unreliable narrators, because the girl said a bunch of stupid shit, like, they're not from New York. Mm -hmm. Like, she's like, I'm not from New York. I, I come to school here, and my dad transferred to follow me because he's a stalker. Mm -hmm. uh, again, under the, my, my dad's a stalker, and he's crazy. Yeah. He's the killer. It's like, yes, girl, I know. Why, <laughs> Thank why you. We're you, 20 you, minutes into the movie. Spell that out? Yeah. Uh, but so it's like, we don't know who was telling the truth or what because they were all lying the whole time. Yeah. Um, okay. And so, um, like I said, uh, there's several moments where I was like, God damn it, why are you doing this stupid shit? First things first is go into public. They said, okay, so they come up with a plan. Uh, let's go back to that creepy theater where all of the memorabilia is, and we'll trap the ghost face killer in one area in a kill box and kill him, right? And they're t on the phone with the cop. And the cop is, you know, his daughter dies. So you think the cop's on the side. He's like, yeah. kill my daughter. So we're going to kill him. Yeah, let's do it. Let's <laughs> kill him, right? And he tells him, all right, make sure you go out into public so that, you know, you'll – uh, it'll be safer. And I was like, that's the stupidest fucking idea. It's Halloween night. Everybody's wearing ghost face masks. And then they, they take the fucking subway and they let a bunch of people push them. This is life or that's death. That's a $200 Uber and, on Halloween night. Yeah, yep. but still. <laughs> that they, shit? Ain't nobody got cars. Not a goddamn it's one New of them York. New York City. cars. It's New York. No, I believe one of those motherfuckers have a car. I know plenty of people. Hell New no, York, not, ev they, not all they fucking. They take the subway. They're, they're, they're college six. kids. They're all Shut college. the <laughs> fuck up. Now y'all are against me. So they go into public, and of course they get fucking separated, yeah. and they don't instantly say, nope, stop, we're not doing this, or whatever. But it, but you could excuse that because the cop was on the phone. He's like, go into public. So you're thinking, oh, well, he's the killer, so he wants that to set them up so that his daughter and son could end here. But so there's that. Um, there's also the fact that, you know, Sam and Sam and Tara. Tara, Tara have been attacked before. They see it happening again on the TV. I like immediately Tara's like, we're go or Sam's like, we're going now. Like we're exiting now. Let's leave the city. So that that and that's they get good. attacked right as soon as they go but, outside. But yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> and, and it's like you don't have a gun. Like you've what been attacked awareness, before. Though? You've had your fucking home invaded. She has a ta the first scene that we yeah. see them together. She and has a taser. Never see it again. And then she tases a dude in the balls who's kind of being creepy with her sister. Yeah. And then the taser is gone the rest of the time. Yeah. We're skipping around, but remember that uh, Jenna Ortega is now Wednesday, and in the Halloween party, I was like, is she gonna show up? At dressed as Wednesday. I could have swore I saw Wednesday walking around. I was like, that would have been funny if they did that in joke. Uh, but maybe she got this role before she got that role. I don't know. Anyways, so that was fun. But here's where the movie cheats. And this is where, like, I can excuse some of this other stuff, but this is where I cannot excuse. So it's even shown in the trailer. Courtney Cox's character, Gail, uh, is on the phone with the killer. And she's like, doesn't, this doesn't end well for you. The last 10 guys that tried to attack me are dead. And just then you see in the background this huge dude is like her new boyfriend yeah. or something. He's muscle man. Yeah, he's big. And he gets fucking like he's, he's like, he's, like I understand him getting stabbed. The killer has him over the head and like throws him <laughs> through a bookcase. So we did our work. And we said, okay, so there's three killers. Motherfucker got thrown through a goddamn bookcase, okay, yeah. flew across the room, and we're like, okay, so who did this? The only person that I would even entertain would be the father cop, but not even him because this dude was twice his size. What well, turns out that ghost face killer was the little girl. 
Right, because the sun was on the train. Yeah. No, the sun was in the group at the park. Yeah. Right. He, yeah. Well, he, he's uh, he was on campus, right, or something. He was. He was not there. It's, he, it, it could it potentially been. be the sun as well. Maybe. The sun is 150 but pounds. But I think the sun was already a part of the group. No, I, I, I agree. It still doesn't make sense. He's but I strong. Think, no, can't that movie up. is trying to say it no. was the fucking little it girl. Is because no he's way. in the van. He's in the van. Remember with Chad eating Cheetos. And the cop right. is yeah. outside of the park. So it's the so little it's girl. it's the little girl. Oh, shit. Yes. The whole movie. <laughs> Because he was in the van. <laughs> One out of ten. <laughs> little girl picks this huge muscle man, throws him through a bookcase. I don't like it when the film does that. You you just move things around. Have the cop do it. You know what or I mean? Or just cast different fucking people. Right. Like, honestly, the, these movies are so ridiculous in the last 20 minutes. You don't it, treat your audience like yeah, that. Yeah, because, like, there the were actually, like, seriously, the first two-thirds. Three quarters of this movie is really, really good. good. And I'm like, holy shit, they're finally plugging up some of the stupid ass shit they did. And then what they did is they were saving up all the dumb for, for the, the last for the quarter. End. And they're but, like, this little girl. But I was so entertained. One too. I, I know, I agree. I, but I was so entertained by then that yeah. I was like, okay, let's go full camp now. So you wanted to do They did full serious. Now they went full camp. And yeah. I was like, I'm for it because you, you got my money's worth. And so they went full camp. But they had to cheat to get there. So let's try to figure out all the kills. So the very first kill is the fake ghost face killers. Though I guess they can still count. That guy can be like, I was a ghost face killer. Uh, you know, even though he's kind of a fake one. It has to be the dad. So that was either, it could be any of it them, It has to I be think. the dad. Because he's the, the kid, the boys at the, ho the, the Halloween party. Yeah. And then the, the red-headed sex positive lady is getting railed. Okay, that's right. So that that uh, he kills both. Who knows? It could have been maybe the teenage son or the daughter that killed his part, his roommate that was beheaded in the fridge. But probably the yeah. dad as well. Yeah, because um, they're at the party and right. at home. And then the next time we get a ghost face, it was it was an attack at on the street first. But uh, I think Tara was able to punch yeah. him, you know, and get him, get him. And then they ran, and yeah. they ran into a convenience store. Yeah, and that's got to be, I think it's got to be the dad, um, because, I mean, he's... He's big. He's not, well, the big doesn't matter, because right, everyone, like, the, the ghost face is always through. seven feet tall. But he uses the shotgun very well. Very well. And so yeah. it's like, I don't necessarily, I mean, who knows? Maybe the, the little girl is a judo master and a power lifter and a shotgun specialist yeah. and a knife Her dad is pretty fucking and, crazy. Uh, Maybe he's also, like, hey, train Ghostface <laughs> gets hit in the face and kicked in the face a hundred times this yes. movie by big, heavy things. And it knocks his ass out a lot. Yeah. And when they take all their masks off, they're totally fine. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 another broken yeah. part. Uh, we just love picking this out. So, but this remember, is the this, this is the fun time. This is the fun time. We like the film. Yes. So yes. We're gonna be fair. I apart. like the movie. Right. So, but yeah. This is so uh, the next thing is oh, and I like that. You know, it's like I liked in New York. I'm like, come on, man. There's got to be some guns in New York. Come on, you, you do this shit in Texas. There's gonna be some guns. And they did this shit in New York, and the store owner come, brings out a shotgun. Yeah. But my fucking ghost face is able to run instantly and kind of get it out. Um, they they so here's what's good in the film. I should have said this in the review as well. All the ten it had actual tension. Yes. Great tension in the subway. Great quiet tension. It's a little cheap with you know making noise with the glass and stuff. It's like it, he probably would have heard you a long time. I feel like the tension. But the, the tension was very very good. The the ladder scene. Ladders as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, so they get attacked in the apartment, all of them. And then uh, the boyfriend character of Sam, who, you know, is kind of mostly on the outside. So you might think it's him, uh, but uh, you don't think it's him because he sees, he sees the ghost face killer killing. And then he's trying to warn them and eventually gets them a fucking ladder. I'm like, why didn't you call the fucking police already? But OK, you do that. Maybe you did both. Uh, and so the ghost face killer it seems like he's going to kill the promiscuous girl. So that kind of throws you off from her because you're thinking, okay. Yeah. Um, but it's because she's just getting laid and her dad or brother is in the house and, and killing uh, other people. So that makes sense. So that's why I said the beginning of this film is very strong very and, and we're fine with it. Um, so then they go across the ladder. Now here, this ghost face, I don't know who it is. Uh, that stabs the Asian chick and then... Uh, it's got to be the, the brother. Mm, do think you think so. the brother? I think well, he's brother. strong as fuck. He's able to lift her up, get her in the stomach, then actually cut upward. 
And this chick lives a long fucking time for the way she was gutted. Uh, I'm not sure she would have lived that the long. The great Christopher Lee explained to all of us mm -hmm. that when you are stabbed like that, you don't get to scream as loud as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. uh, he explained it for, for Lord, the making of Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. when, uh, so uh, <laughs> it's bullshit. Yeah, so then, so, so then, but they manage to, they're all running, and there's great tension. She's like punching and pushing and kicking and trying to, and she goes for a knife. The knives are gone. So this is like, well, what the fuck is going on It's somebody here? inside the building. And then you also have the thing with, with Sam where she's seeing her father still from the, they continue that. And that. so maybe you think that maybe Sam could be taking her own knives and, and doing, and then, but no, because she's under attack. Yeah. So they kind of dropped that a little early. But uh, they're they're under attack, and then you know, uh, so then they go across the ladder. First, it is who goes across the ladder first. Sam, Sam goes. Sam first. goes. And then Mindy. her sister. No, then Mindy, because her sister then... actually left. <laughs> they, they, they just fucking yeah, bolted. They bolted. <laughs> and then did I get this right? Did they literally bolt, yeah. leave their friends behind, then suddenly realize, oh shit. We left everybody behind, and they tried yeah. to go but back up, but the door was locked. Yeah. Someone deadbolted the door after they left, because okay. uh, you don't can't think about that. Yeah, but it must have been the promiscuous girl. The, no way, the, she the can't roommate. be. There was no. No, you can't <laughs> risk anyone seeing her. Exactly. Okay, so so then they go across the ladder. Unfortunately, the last person to go across the ladder makes sense. She wants her girlfriend to live. She, she, she knows dead. she's already stabbed and led, leaving, lo losing too much blood. She tells her to go on ahead. This is the character Annika. name was Annika, um, and she surprisingly has enough effort to get up and get on the mm. ladder. And I'm like, oh, she fucked. Oh, Ghost yeah, face eventually gets in. I'm scared. Of slams her off the ladder. It's over, Annika. I've got the high ground. And he just <laughs> <laughs> smacks yeah. her face on a fucking dumpster, dumpster on the way yeah, down. She, Gruesome. Yeah. So that was another good one. Oh, excellent. Um, and we, we had no problem with it. So mm -hmm. what else? The psychiatrist goes next, I believe. Yeah. So at some point, uh, Sam visits a psychiatrist. who's like, come on, open up to me. You know, telling me things I need to help you. And then she goes for him and says, uh, you know, uh, my father was a serial killer, and this guy tried to kill him. My boyfriend tried to kill me, and then I fucking stabbed him. Like, yeah, good. And he's like, I'm not equipped to handle this. Yeah, I'm calling the cops. Get the fuck out. Right. Uh, but uh, he gets murdered, I guess, and the ghost face wanted to grab the files to set her up in the future or to just continue to implicate her. So we think that this one, since this ghost face rams his fucking fist and knife through uh, fucking... Plexiglass. I'm not sure and what that the guy's was. Face, it has to be the little girl. She's so <laughs> strong. Right. The she's same so, one that took so, out that huge muffin. She's so dude, strong. Right? Yes. And tall. <laughs> so I guess, no, that had to be the father. And so then he gets stabbed. And then his shit stolen. Files. Maybe the police officer. Um, then, let's see. Killing. Okay. The investigator was set up the crime, including weapons and outfits. So then the, the ghost face is leaving behind uh, a mask at each crime yeah. scene. And everybody the is. Movies. There's fucking this one bitch that's like walking up and just throws alcohol on Sam and says, you killed it. And you see all these Instagram posts with uh, Dewey, like, he was innocent and making him all innocent. And oh, like, Richie, oh, yeah. Yeah, like, fucking. But you see that kind of shit on social media. So you're like, ah, oh, it makes you so frustrated. And, of course, they edit the video where it's her pushing her back, and it makes Sam look bad, yeah. <laughs> right? The real enemy in this one is uh, the internet for character assassination. Because yes. it's not enough to kill someone. You have to destroy their legacy. Yeah. You know, some people might roll their eyes at that, but I'm like, no, that's fucking legit. That shit fucking happens, and this is a good social commentary, in my opinion. And uh, now, however, all this stuff of, oh, we're going to plant the evidence, no, nobody's buying that shit. Number one, there would be cameras all over that goddamn convenience store, and you can clearly tell that it the person her, is yeah. shooting them, but they never mention, they never mention cameras at the convenience store, they never mention that. Of course, it is the cop, and so the cop is going to try to set up you know, that, that she's the one. And yeah, that's what he said, too. He's like, that's why I'm the first one to arrive in the scenes. Yeah. Um, 
So then what? Uh, finally, then, Gale. So yeah, the, group, out, yeah, the get, group gets an idea. Yeah, they get separated. So they're going to try to lure Ghostface out to a public place uh, in, the, in, the in, the middle, in the middle of a park. And then we got one but, group in a van. Uh, everyone, literally everyone in the entire movie that is part of this thing is in the van or near the van. And they're all they're all in Central Park. And then they realize that the call is coming from the Upper West Side. So that where she, Yano so, lives. Yeah, Kirby is able to track too. a phone call in 15 seconds. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, they got this. They got his ass. And they got his ass, but it's across the fucking it's city. Completely across the city, and that's where Gale happens to, to live. And so uh, Gale's going to die, except for Courtney Cox is a coward and is an executive producer on this movie and says, oh, I, don't, an executive I, producer? I don't get to fucking die. No, How dare Courtney. you? Gale gets that to That was a bitch <laughs> move. Do we win Do we got to go? You got to go. Yeah. So that's so, the thing that I don't, I don't like. Everyone in this movie that like wants Too to, many people survive. Yeah. And then the, what, the dude, Chad got stabbed like 40 yes, fucking times. No Chad, fucking That's way. even worse. The yeah. Chad is even worse. We'll, we'll get there. But, but let's do the. But, let's like, do the he, but Gale like survives. She gets stabbed and beat up and then and beat up and then stabbed again and then stabbed again and Multiple stabbed again stabs. and then and then when they're like oh she she's... finally retreats to a safe room she's got a we oh yeah she gets a safe room she pulls out a gun and it's like the wait, best wait 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 god damn it the, the fucking gun case you gotta talk about the gun case oh, it's Gail? like come on man like you know this and you s there's four buttons you only need to press like one or two buttons there's and then a different the gun. combination <laughs> but i guess they're trying to say that she's freaked out yeah right of course it's like okay uh, well, if you're a gun owner going. you should know you need to have yeah. easy access to a gun and a smart owner, gun owner like I, do, I am, you need to not create a system where you have to enter 15 codes and then do a fucking face scan and then do fucking multiple key turnings <laughs> at the same time. God damn it. Unless, unless you have small babies in the house and shit, get access to your guns a little easier. Gail said herself, it's like, this has happened, what, 10 times? Or it's like an yeah. absurd amount of times you before? You think that she would be fucking packing at all times. Yeah, well, and she used to be like, boop. She yeah. doesn't have kids. She lives right. there with her fucking giant muscle-bound boyfriend. And she's like, there's pop the gun. Down. But she does do good, and she does pop, pop, and she thinks she gets him, but, like, he calls her on the phone. He's like, yeah, yeah you miss me, bitch, or whatever. And then she does something pretty clever, and I liked it. It made me laugh. He's <laughs> like, so she's like, keep talking to me. He's like, oh, yeah, let's oh, fine. I'll keep talking to you, blah, blah, blah. And then she goes, uh, hold on, wait a minute. And he goes, what? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> and I was like, she's like, hold on, I got another call or something. And then she goes to do it, and then she calls the number, and then the number fucking rings, and the, but so how'd she do that? Uh, she what she did is she just called the number that called her. Oh, and, that's right. Uh, <laughs> apparently, Ghostface has his ringer arm loud. Yeah, and <laughs> he's, he's, he's like, like shit, yeah. <laughs> hiding in a closet or hiding outside or like behind a, a door, and she'll yeah. pop, pop, and she I think she actually hits him. But another cheat because we never see any of the three Ghostface killers like injured in any way. No, right? they're, they're not, none of them are ever. So, hurt. but one got hit by a bullet. There's ah. And, and then bulletproof just, vest. The bulletproof said. vest. Oh, said, okay, maybe, maybe. Sure. I don't know. <laughs> Excuse it. Um, but yeah, so, but he eventually does get the upper hand on her. Uh, comes, uh, how does he surprise her? Comes from behind? From the door? He yeah. just bursts through the door. Okay, he just bursts through, through the door. Through this the ghost door. face likes to fucking barb. She did. Doors yeah. she did. Go, yeah. Yeah. Ghostface is girl. huge oh, and yeah. super strong and like crazy <laughs> menacing. That's a little girl. Yeah, that's a little girl this time. Yeah. <laughs> Unless multiple ones showed up. No, no because they're with. Because he was what stuck. The fuck? He was stuck. They took his car. Yeah. So he's stuck. So then this little girl gets into a goddamn wrestling match with a with a woman that's much bigger than her. I wouldn't say Courtney Cox is the strongest, but she is bigger. And then they're fighting, and and she gets stabbed multiple yes. times, Gail. And you know, I'm like, I'm like, all right, you have your convictions. Uh, you kill one of the legacy characters. They hinted at it. It's like, legacy. Nobody cares about the legacy characters that can die. So I was like, all right. And and you know what? It's somewhat poetic. It's like. Even the Ghostface killers taunting her. You making money off this? You writing books? Because this is fucked up. Gail actually made a book off the last film she when she said she wouldn't, too, and that and it pissed off Sam and Tara, and they stopped talking to her. And actually, they don't like her at mm -hmm. first, and they punch her. In fact, when they first see her, and I'm like, that is fucked up. So I'm like, this gives the audience an excuse to be like, okay, well, you fucked up. You made more money. Now you die. But like Alex said, she's an executive producer. She's like, I want to be in the next one. I ain't got nothing better to do. It's like, no. I'm going to produce she, these forever. She should have died. 
Okay, so then uh, we get that one. Uh, after he attacks Gail, uh, mocking her about Dewey, um, uh, Sam and Tara arrive just in time uh, with a gun, picking up the gun, but the ghost face is in a compromised position, doesn't know that fucking Sam and Tara are there, and you're telling me she can't, she can't hit? It's because she went in yelling. Hey, ghost face. That's what happened. That so. was fucking dumb as shit. But anyway, <laughs> so they could have killed him, him right there. Stopped ghost face from killing. And then one of the people was like, she still has a pulse. You know, the paramedics come in. I was like, motherfucker. Yeah, the very end. That's not fair to Dewey. The very end, they're like, Gail's going to be fine. It's like, God damn it. The group uh, agreed to meet Kirby at a theater and trap Ghostface. So they try to do this thing where it's like Kirby. Kirby's acting kind of weird, and then she's like looking off to the side, and she like sneaks off screen, and you're like, "What? Where? What the fuck is she going?" And they're like, "Kirby, Kirby, where are you at?" And Kirby doesn't answer. So apparently, Kirby, I don't know, is in the fucking bathroom or something, not answering because she's not a bad guy. So why the fuck is she answering? Just disappears. At a very vital time, so it's a little bit cheating. And then the cop calls her and says, "It's Kirby. I just got uh, they knocked her out. <laughs> I got information on her, and they said she doesn't even work for the FBI anymore. She got fired two months ago. Her psych Crazy. evaluation was bad, or whatever." And so they're like, "Oh fuck, it's Kirby." So then you know, uh, then all these ghost faces start to come out, and uh, they kill Chad. They fucking kill. Oh, well, oh, I'm sorry. We skipped the, the subway, subway scene. So the subway scene is excellent. The cops like go and we'll trap them in the thing and go in the subway. And these idiots let themselves get separated right away. Just piss me off. Uh, so you have Mindy and the nerdy guy in one <coughs> subway car and the rest in the other. The yeah, rest- they, they try to make it seem like it's Danny because like Danny <coughs> pushes him in. Yeah. He's like, oh, we got separated because of this guy. The boyfriend to Tara. So he's like, oh, so he's like, I was keeping everybody Danny. together. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, they're fine though. They never get attacked. There was a moment where a ghost face comes towards them because everybody's wearing the ghost face because everybody likes to glorify killers, I suppose, and buy the same thing. The sales in this were up. Universe. That's what they said. The sales <laughs> were up that day. It was sold out everywhere. And because, uh, yeah, people just want to have the police heat on them for no reason. <laughs> anyway, so um, then, yeah, Mindy gets stabbed. And th- again, this is good. He's covering her mouth, he's stabbing her. I think multiple times or turning the knife or whatever. And, of course, it's New York, so everybody's asleep minding their own business, I guess. And uh, so she should be dead right here. But, again, can't kill any of the characters. And that was like, oh, man. that's I didn't want Mindy to die. I like, I like Mindy. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I feel like I've seen her somewhere before. I, well, obviously the last film, but I, I, I don't know. Anyways, uh, and they make it seem like uh, the nerdy kid, um, which whose name is... Um, um, Ethan? Is, yeah, I think so. Yeah, Ethan. Ethan Landry yes. uh, is, you know, not the killer because he was there, right? But I guess he put on a costume. So that had to have been the girl. The, the girl. girl. Yes. So that was the girl, and maybe that's why the girl is not now her inconsistency. I mean, the girl does all the killings, okay? <laughs> maybe, her inconsistency maybe. and power. Yeah. So she's not enough to kill Mindy. But, so then she gets uh, rescued, goes to the hospital or whatever. We see that, that kind of happens off screen. Um, so they're at the, uh, uh, the museum theater, theater mm-hmm. and somebody take it over. I think uh, <coughs> when they say the mentally unstable thing, two ghost faces appear. Yeah, two ghost faces show up. They immediately, I mean, they stab Chad over and over and over and oh, over. Oh, uh, Chad and uh, Sam are ha- or Tara. Tara, Tara is having a moment. They're like arguing over some jujubes or something. Raisinets that are like, that are like, that are like way <laughs> expired and will <laughs> kill you. With fucking dust on them. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the only thing in this movie that are lethal if you put it inside your body because all the knives, not they just everyone survives this part. Yeah. Uh, so then simultaneously, Chad is stabbed probably seven, eight times. Wait, each from each one. From each yeah, one. Yeah, because they're both like on either side. They're just like stabbing them over and over. And I'm like, oh man, that's that's cool. But, you know, it's the love interest for Tar. Hey, gotta die, gotta follow the rules and shit. They both both Ghostface turn around and then do the knife thing mm-hmm. simultaneous. So I'm going to assume that that's actually uh, brother and sister yes. because yeah. it's in sync. It is. All right, so we got that kill out of the way, but it's not a kill because later on it's shown at the very end. He's alive, and she's like, how are you alive? The, the whole audience is like, yeah, how are you alive? He's like, 
Yeah. <laughs> my love for kiss. you. <laughs> my, my love for you. Yeah. It's mm. like, oh, man. Because we're not. Because we're the four. The core four. We're the core four. Oh, that's what he did. He yeah. Did core four. Um, so now there's like, a, but then there's a third ghost face as, you know, Kirby comes up and they're like, hey, you, you're the one. And Kirby's like, what are you talking about? No, it's him. And so the cop comes in and he's got the gun and she's got the gun and we don't know who to trust or believe. And then the ghost face come out and she sh they shoot and Kirby goes down. You're like, you didn't see Kirby die. So, you know, she's going to shoot some more later in the yeah, last sure. death row or something yeah. is what I assumed. But even Kirby lives. <laughs> it was like, she got shot a bunch of times and then like stabbed two or three times. again. She did get stabbed? She got stabbed. She got stabbed. She got the stabbed same, in the, the, the same the hole. Boy? Yeah, the boy. The boy stabbed her in the same hole with the same oh, knife. that's right. He's like, hey, how about this? Yeah, he was, mm-mm. Mm-mm. But entertaining, so we'll allow it. But, mm, -mm. Uh, Then uh, Sam and Tara. Uh, it's a really cool scene because you've got three ghost faces. And Sam and Tara are back to back, and they've got no weapons. Maybe one knife and a brick. And, a brick. <laughs> yeah. and you're like, "Oh the fuck, are they gonna do this? I like this." And I was like, "Who is gonna show?" And the, the last cop minute, has a gun. Gonna be a gun. Yeah. And yeah. no one can get in because the, the the building is literally sealed. Like you cannot get into so the building. While it's dumb as fuck, it's still entertaining. So then they start to fight. Um, what happens? How, yeah. how do they actually fight? What was the opening moment of the they, fight? Th was Sam it a gunshot from Kirby? Sam picks up uh, a brick, mm -hmm. and then uh, Tara has a brick, and then they go like, They just start fighting. And then they just start fighting, okay. and they, they start throwing each other around. But Dad is sitting there with a gun, so there's no tension right. to any of the fight. Dad m kind of disappears in he's, a lot of the scenes. He's standing there with a gun. Right. Dis disappearing a lot of scenes where the daughter goes on one, and the, the, the son goes on the other, and then they kind of separate. They go up the ladder. They talk about an exit, but you know it's not a fucking exit, but whatever. You're going in a different spot. So they separate. Uh, Sam is at the top, uh, and and uh, the father shoots at Tara, who is also at the top. And somehow this scares Tara to where she falls. Because they have to step over the edge because there's a whole bunch of cluster. Right. So as soon as she does, she's like, oh, she, God. She slips. <laughs> and then so Sam is holding Tara, and she's like, don't let go. And this is another character moment where it's like, you know, her sister doesn't want to let her go, doesn't trust her to f fend for herself. And she's like, you got to let me go. It's very much on the nose. It's on the <laughs> nose, but I, I thought it was w w done well enough. She sees the knife on her sister's hip, and so she gives her the knife and trusts her to handle her own battle because she's in trouble here comes the daughter character and so she's got to deal with that the guns right there so they separate in that instance that moment sam is able to get the gun and the gun versus knife fight shoots the fucking daughter character in the head downstairs fucking tara comes down with the knife get stabbed and gets stabbed again gets stabbed and stabs the dude yeah. and then she kind of uh, of course, because they are uh, the daughters, um, is Sam and Tara half -sisters. blood related? Okay, they're, they're, half they're half sisters. Right. So Tara so, is not the daughter of Loomis. Right. So, so, but you can kind of see Tara somewhat enjoying it, or somewhat coming into her own where she's defending herself. But Sam is enjoying it. She's just you know going off, and uh, and then she, and then it. But this all happens with the father character with the gun. Disappeared. He's, he's standing there. He's standing behind his daughter. He's watching after, his daughter get shot in the head. Well, he's, he's behind the daughter, and he sees his daughter get shot in the head, sees his son get stabbed through the neck and, like, into the mouth all the way oh, through the yeah. back he's of the head. Upstairs behind and his he daughter. has a pistol to her. And he loses the pistol to nothing. No, no, no. Yes, that's what it was. It was a fast and the furious charge he has a gun for in no his reason. Hand. Yeah, and he just goes Aah! and he doesn't fire the gun at the last moment it goes off, you know, when they collide <laughs> so that's when i rolled my eyes i was like why are you doing this why part? are you ruining like, your you're own going, movie you're going over the top but still entertaining <laughs> and so they fall and then she disappears and she turns into a good ghost face killer yeah because he's looking at all of the previous ghost faces like see i told you it was in your blood and then she calls him on on the phone with the voice and then she just surprises him. Surprises him. And yeah. stabs him yes. from the top. Up, a bunch. Up, you know, he's got the bulletproof <coughs> vest. But bulletproof vests are not knife proof. You can, you can stab you through bulletproof. You can stab yeah. through bulletproof, but it looked like she was doing Oh, she was up here, but she got, she got all over the places, yeah. So, yeah, she get, fucks him over. 
Um, did he also have a gun? So yeah, once again, he, he, has, he doesn't he shoot her. He has two rounds left of his mm-hmm. thirty-eight. And yeah. he doesn't decide. He decides. That's right. He stupidly comes in and starts firing at empty yeah. fucking costumes for no reason. I'm yeah. like, bro, that's a six shooter. Uh, maybe a nine. I don't know. It's, but stop doing that. <laughs> yeah. But whatever. Uh, so eventually she kills him. You see her smile a little bit. She doesn't. They, the movie doesn't do like her father. Like, all right, good job. You know, he doesn't show up. It's, but you could tell that she is kind of somewhat enjoying it. Um, then. Then we get the... Uh, Everyone lives. Everyone lives. And then uh, Kirby comes, and Kirby's alive, and then I think Danny. Mindy shows up, and Mindy's fine. I guess she's got patches on yeah, her, she, her yeah, chest, yeah. and then she says, don't worry, everybody. I don't know who says this. Don't worry, everyone. Gail's all right. Uh, Kirby's all right. Everybody's Danny's, all right. Danny says that, yeah. He calls the cops, oh, so they come pouring he, in. Yeah, he's the good the guy. The boyfriend who they didn't allow in the building because they suspected it, he calls the cavalry. Okay. But I don't know. These motherfucking New York NYPD, when they burst in there and they see all that, they are not being kind to these. They'll just get, down, get on the ground. That's what the cops would actually do. There's knives everywhere. And There's guns. Ni- and blood over everybody. <laughs> yeah. They don't fucking know what happened. Yeah, no one gets but to move until we're sure who's moving. Exactly. And then even then, we're probably going to blame you. Because somebody's got to get blamed for this shit. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, because it's like, how do you explain this? I'm a cop, he says. And she goes, I don't know. Whoever's left gets, gets to win or explains like I don't know. Well, Kirby's saying. FBI. Oh. So you she, better have she, some. Kirby explained it. History right. is Kirby is the FBI. I don't like that. <laughs> and she. So actually, is Kirby really FBI? Yeah. This is yes. left open. She is. Yeah. Okay. So the caller was lying because she could still be mentally unstable and just wanted to help, right? Uh, but she might actually be FBI, so she can help. Yeah, because And then maybe a, a the backstory. stage has cameras. Maybe the sick family was going to film that shit and jerk off to it later. <laughs> so maybe there's also cameras. If you're not that FBI, can you can't get a innocence. surveillance video and like, like if you are truly like not FBI anymore, like how, how are you going to get that like surveillance van and right. cell phone tracking and all that other crazy shit she brought yeah. along? So it was, it's like, I think the cop tamed all that, yeah. right? Because no, she no, did. She, she did. did. I think yeah. she did. Then, then why did why did the, she believe whatever? Can't think about it. Um. Oh, then but the last the... minute, Sam. Uh, not only does she she don the costume, but she takes off the costume. But then Ethan Kale. Last minute, the the kid is actually still alive, even though Tara had jacked him up and stabbed a knife through the back of his head. Oh, that's right, in his mouth, all the way out of the back of his head, twisted it, and then twisted it. But he's fine because knives are not. <laughs> he dangerous. blocked it with his tongue. Oh, uh, uh, that, that <laughs> knife foo, I guess. Oh, with you're right. So, but Kirby <laughs> smashes the television set that killed Stu uh, over his head, killing uh, Ethan for good. Then uh, Sam is going to maybe let the cop live because he's not completely dead. And then Tara's like, and then Sam's like, you did fuck with my favorite. I, th- I thought Tara was going to be like, no, I meant like, good job. <laughs> yeah. That was a good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing stab a good job. Stab him through the <laughs> eye, Don. I was like, yes. holy shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought. Oh, all right. Well. You see, all the other ones were in self-defense. That's just murder. <laughs> That's just fun. <laughs> that one's just murder. Now, as the, uh, and so, still alive. Mindy, Chad, Kirby, Sam. Gail. Tara. Gail. See, there should have been a little more body count. I don't want Mindy to die. I like there Mindy. was a lot uh, of body count. But I didn't like, want Chad to die. I like Chad, but I think and I and Gail, I wanted to die. She, you know, it, it seems appropriate because Dewey went out. I think those three, if they died, I would have respected you a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. And because they're dying, that kind of helps some of the plot holes. It's like, come on, this ridiculousness. Now, the writing still falls apart there towards the end, regardless, because of the situations and how ridiculous it is. But I probably would have gone from that seven to that eight, mm-hmm. maybe if they shirt up a few more other things. And if they nailed that final act and kind of did the same thing, but then, you know, did it in different ways to where you can kind of believe it didn't go so. What do you call it? Camp- campy? What, the over the top? Dumb. Dumb. It's dumb. dumb. It's dumb. They had, right? It's if they didn't do this, this thing could hit fucking nine. Ten out of ten. ten like territory. seriously. Now, I will give the film credit. You know, it's very rare for a sequel to be better than the last film. Now, there's a little bit of a curve here because it was the fifth film that you're better than. Right? Uh, Rocky but, Four's better than Rocky Three. Yeah. It's rare. 
I'm telling you, it's like term, Terminator 2, with, but it's ar- people can still argue that. Um, Aliens 2, people still those argue are, those that. Those are tight. Aliens 2, in my opinion, is better than Aliens, but I feel like they're almost different genres. They are. So, so uh, you know, um, and this one is, is better. And now, is it better than the original? It's been so long since I've watched the original. I don't, I, think, I don't so. think so, because there's less ridiculousness in the original. They might do a little bit, contained. but the body sizes don't go like, you know, from five foot three throwing a man, probably Alex's size or bigger than Alex, through goddamn Try book cases. Oh, but but go ahead, Joe. But that, no, you're, 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 yeah, no. that's that's the situation right there. Don't fucking buy it. And half Joe's muscle mass. So <laughs> don't 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 excuse that. All right. Anyways, that's it. We like this. This has a fun discussion, fun. even though well, at the we very enjoyed. end too. You can't forget, like Samantha has like her oh, jacket. Right. She opens it. It's okay, the, it's the mask. The music it's is like, oh, swelling. Is she gonna become? Her, her, I'm like, because she said she enjoyed I watch that, it. I think that 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 would be interesting. Now, because they did such a good job in Scream Six, would you watch a Scream Seven? I would. Yes. Because they did a good job here. But I don't want. To- I don't think it's gonna be as good as this, and I don't think it's like it's gonna get worse. Mm. Um. And if they go with that, where it's her father still tormenting her, and she becomes a I don't killer, know, I don't wanna, they're I don't not going to do that. that. I think they're yeah, doing yeah. good ghost face, and maybe you can do a Dexter type situation where she's ghost facing the ghost face while he's ghost facing. I don't know. They kind of did that here already, though. And then they do one final jump scare that was unnecessary. Turn to Alex is like, "What the fuck was that?" Like it's literally a three second cl- transition clip where it's ghost face cocking the shotgun, it just randomly from a scene before well that scene wasn't actually filmed at that moment or maybe it was a clip from that (laughs) i don't know what that was now there is one is there anything after the credits no except for the very very (laughs) end if you wait where the motherfucking theater employees are like get the fuck out of here uh, there is one final post credit scene, and don't waste your time because uh, it's Mindy going. Uh, not, not, ev- not everything needs a post credit scene. Right. It's like That's an it. outtake from earlier before. I don't know if she actually said that before, but it, m- it might have been an alternate take that they used because she's not doing it for the audience. She's doing it for like her little group that they're talking about their strategy and who it can be. Anyways, hey, entertaining. Yes. Stupid, dumb, but entertaining. Did we say that in the review? Should have started with. This is so. dumb as fuck, <laughs> but it's entertaining. I think we got we that across. We got that point across. Yeah. All right. Well, that's about it. And uh, thank you all guys so much. And we'll see you on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, guys. <laughs>